How does shared storage work with video? Like, how do you actually get to the files? Well, glad you asked. When it comes to the Jellyfish by OWC, the answer is over a 10 gig pipe. A 10 gig pipe might sound like something you need to run to your local hardware store to fetch or something that requires a call to a local plumber. But I assure you, it's not. It's a term we use in post-production and networking in general to describe a 10 gigabit ethernet connection. Ethernet is a term that you're probably familiar with, but if you haven't heard this term before, when you check into a hotel, you have probably seen that yellow cable near the desk area, kind of just looks like an old landline phone connection. That's ethernet. There's a lot more regarding ethernet, but you can go to Wikipedia for that. We're not here to talk about ethernet. Well. We are, but we're not. Anyway, not all ethernet is created equally. That hotel ethernet that provides your computer with access to the World Wide Web is likely one gigabit ethernet. That's a whole nine gigs less than 10 gigabit ethernet. 10 gigabit ethernet moves data at approximately 1250 megabytes per second, which is enough bandwidth to edit 4K and greater video over without any lag. And that, my friends, is our 10 gig pipe. Okay, so why does this matter? Well, video codecs have all sorts of different bit rates, which in an enormously simplified explanation is basically how many megabytes per second the video file requires. It refers to the amount of data moving and how quickly it can move. This is essential information when you're planning a post-production session. Let's use 4K ProRes 422 as an example. It's a really popular codec and a lot of post-production houses and editors use it as an intermediate or mezzanine codec, many times even for final delivery. This codec has a bit rate of about 55 megabytes per second. Divide that into our 10 gig pipe, and you can theoretically have a lot of streams of 4K ProRes running at the same time. By my math, like about 20 streams. Now, before you go out and stack 20 ProRes video files on top of each other in your NLE and try to edit them, there are some other limitations you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. Most notably, your workstation's capabilities. We'll cover workstations in another video as it relates to 10 gig pipes, but for now, why should we care about this pipe? Well, the reason we're talking about this here is because the Jellyfish by OWC is a shared storage video server that offers multiple members of video production and post-production teams the ability to access the same media at the same time. One of the main reasons the Jellyfish can offer that capability is its ability to take advantage of 10 gig connections. Shared storage video servers can save your team time and you can get your edits done and delivered faster by allowing different team members and stakeholders to work simultaneously. We owe a lot of that to 10 gig connections. Now, many Apple machines like the Mac Pro Tower and Rack, as well as the Mac Studio, and even some iMacs have 10 gig ports natively. So you'll be able to connect to Jellyfish directly with Cat6A or Cat7 ethernet cable. Other machines like laptops, which you may use in your video editing journey, won't have a 10 gig port. For that, you'll need an adapter. But that we'll talk about in another video. That's all for today. Happy editing, enjoy your 10 gig pipe, and uh, say hi to your plumber for me.